Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can use constraint layout in order to align two buttons on the same row at the bottom of the screen. If you remember, I did a tutorial back then that will show you how you can do the same thing but using a linear layout. So in this tutorial, you will learn how you can do that using a constraint layout. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have an app that looks like this. So we have these two buttons that are aligned at the bottom of the screen. If you rotate the device to landscape mode, and the buttons will still appear at the bottom of the screen as well. Okay, so let's open up Android Studio and let's get started. So what we have is two files. One is the uh, main activity, the other one is main activity underscore main .xml file. In this tutorial, we will work mostly with the, the XML file. So open that up. Okay, so we have the layout is set as constraint layout. Next, we need to add two buttons. So this is the first button. This is the second button. You can see that the moment we added this button, Android Studio shows this arrow that says this view is not constrained. Now, the reason why is because we haven't yet added any constraint to the buttons and we didn't set exactly how we want to position this button on the screen. That's why Android Studio shows this arrow. So don't worry about that. We will fix it. Now we have added these two buttons. Let's first change the label. This would be login. The second one would be register. Okay, so now we have these two buttons. Next thing is we need to align these buttons on the screen whereby basically they will be on the same row here. And to do that, you just click on this button here and you can see that this button is actually surrounded by four circles. So these four circles actually represents how you want to uh, give a constraint from which angle of this view. So you can put, uh, give, you can give a constraint from the top, from the left, from the bottom, or from the right. So to give a constraint from the top, you just click on this circle, hold click, and you can see we have this arrow, and this arrow basically uh, shows you how you want to connect this button to another view or to the actual screen. Now because we need to align this button on the center of the screen, so you connect that to the uh, to the actual screen itself. So when you do that, you can see that Android Studio here added this line automatically. And that says layout constraint top to the top of. So we need to add a, it means we've added a constraint to the top of the screen. And we will do the same thing as well for the for the login button. Actually we don't need to do the constraint on top. You can actually uh, remove that but basically I'm showing you how you can add the constraint but because we need to add that on the center so what you can do is let me just put it back here okay choose these two buttons make sure they are both are selected and then right click and choose chains so when you click on chains or you hover your mouse over chains option then you have this uh, uh, other options here and these options actually allowed you to create chains either horizontally or vertically now because we need to align these two buttons in a horizontal uh, then we need to choose the first option and that is create horizontal chain so click on that and you can see that Android Studio has automatically added a constraint from the left of of the buttons and we've added a constraint between these two buttons. That's great. This is how exactly this is exactly how we want it. Now the buttons are aligned next to each other. Next thing is we need to uh, center these buttons on the screen. And to do that, you just choose this button and position that to the top. And position that to the bottom basically mean uh, what I mean is add a constraint to the bottom 
So if I add a constraint to the top, if I add a constraint to the right, to the bottom, we'll do the same thing for the login button. Constraint to the top, constraint to the bottom. So now we have added constraint to both buttons. And you can see that Android Studio is uh, has stopped showing the arrow for these two buttons. Okay, so now these buttons are aligned perfectly next to each other. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, adjust the button so that it takes up the half of the screen like what I'm showing in the final output right here. And to do that, now if you remember back then when I did the video for the linear layout, we used an attribute that's called layout weight. And we give it a value of 1 and that value basically tells the button that we want to uh, we want this button to have a weight of this value on the screen. So with, uh, in constraint layout, it has the same attribute as well. We can actually set the weight of a button of that represents how much space we want to assign to this button. And let's do it now. So we're going to add it in the first button, the login button. You just type weight, and under Studio Autocomplete will give you these three options. Now, because we're working with constraint layout, so we only want to use the uh, these two uh, attributes here. And because right now we are working, we want to align these buttons horizontally, so we'll choose the first option, constraint horizontal weight. We'll give this a value of 1. Now we did that, and you can see there was no change on the screen, right? Don't worry. The next step is we need to look into the uh, the Android layout width. Right now it's set to wrap content. We need to change that to 0 dp. So you can see that the moment we change that, the button size have changed. Okay. Don't worry, we'll fix that out. Now we will do the same thing for the second button. When we do it for the second button, you can see these two buttons will take the same space. So, and before we do that, you can see that Android Studio added this line, horizontal bias 0.5. We don't need that because we have already set the layout width as 0 dp and we have added a weight of 1. So you can remove this line. Okay, let's copy this line and we will paste it here as well. For the second button, there is just a button and don't forget to set the layout width to 0 dp and you can see that now these buttons are taking the exact same space from, on the screen and this is exactly how we want that. And, and don't forget to remove this uh, horizontal bias 0 0.5, we don't need that anymore. Okay. All right, let's, let's try this. Let's run this on the emulator and see how it looks like. Run the button, click on the run button, and let's wait for it to build up. Okay, so now the emulator is, uh, has built the app, and this is how the app looks like. Now we have these two buttons. They are positioned in the center, so if you rotate that, you can see it in the landscape mode. And the, and the buttons are still positioned on the center of the screen. Let's revert back to the portrait mode. Okay, so now we've positioned this on the center of the screen. What we wanted to do is we need to position that at the bottom of the screen. So to fix that, what you can do is you click on the button. You can see that this uh, constraint from the top, just click on that. Click, oops, click on that click on the circle and delete that constraint. We'll do the same thing for the login button. So right, uh, click on the button, click on the circle of the constraint that you want to delete, delete the constraint, and now the buttons are aligned at the bottom of the screen. Let's run the app again. So the build is complete, and now you can see the buttons are aligned at the bottom of the screen. Let's rotate that in a landscape mode and they are aligned perfectly next to each other. Okay, so this, basic, this is basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for watching and happy coding.